In this presentation, we will consider solve problem 1 on singly linked list. So, let's get started. Let us consider this particular question. That is, consider an implementation of unsorted singly linked list. Suppose it has its representation with a head and a tail pointer. That is, pointers to the first and last nodes of the linked list. Given the representation, which of the following operation cannot be implemented in constant time? That is, order of one time. These are the operations which are available with us. We need to identify which of these operations cannot be implemented in order of one time. This question has been asked in UGC NET CS 2016. I would advise you to pause the video for a while and try to answer this question on your own. I hope you're done. Okay, let's move on to the solution. Let us consider this implementation. Okay. We have this linked list and head pointer is pointing to the first node of this list and tail pointer is pointing to the last node of this list. This is just an example. You can take any linked list of your choice. That's not a problem. Let's consider the option number one. Insertion at the front of the linked list. Now here we are talking about this particular operation that is insertion at the front of the linked list. And we already know that insertion at the front of the linked list and that to a singly linked list takes constant amount of time. Because we have a head pointer pointing to the first node of this list. And creation of the first node will take constant amount of time. After creating the node, we just have to update the link part of that node. We definitely have to update the link part of the first node by the address of this particular node. So it must contain this address that is 1000. After putting that address, we need to update our head pointer so that it can point to the new node. And that becomes the first node of the list. Insertion at the front of the linked list will take constant amount of time. And that is why this option is incorrect. Let's consider option B. Insertion at the end of the linked list. This will also take constant amount of time because we have a tail pointer pointing to the last node of the list. Here, if we want to insert a node after this node, then we just have to update the link part of this node. And of course, we have to update our pointer so that it can point to the new node. This will also take constant amount of time. Deletion of the front node of the linked list will also take constant amount of time. Here we have to delete this node, right? Deleting this node will take constant amount of time because here we will put a pointer, let's say temp, which will point to the first node of this list. And then we will move our head pointer so that it can point to the second node of this list. And finally, by using temp pointer, we can easily delete this node. This will obviously take constant amount of time. Now, let's see the last option. And obviously, this is the correct option. This will not take constant amount of time, let me tell you. Deletion of the last node of the linked list will not take constant amount of time. And let's see why. In order to delete the last node of the linked list, we need the address of the second last node. Let's say we delete this node using tail pointer. Then we will lose the reference to the second last node. Isn't that so? There must be some way to reach the second last node so that the tail pointer can point to the second last node of this list. And obviously, we need to update the link part of this node as well. And this must hold null. That is why we need a pointer which will point to the second last node of this list. We only have a pointer to the last node. Therefore, we need to traverse the list in order to get the address of the second last node of the list. And this will take order of n time. Obviously, we need to traverse this list in order to reach the second last node of this list. That is why it will take order of n time. Let's say we have a temp pointer which is pointing to the first node of this list. We will move this temp pointer towards right so that it can point to the second last node of this list. In order to do this, this is the code available with us. Here, the idea of this code is that if temp link link is equal to null, that is temp link link, if it is equal to null, then we will stop our temp pointer and then we will get outside of this loop. After this, of course, we need to update the link part of this particular node using temp pointer. We will update this and put null over here. After this, we will delete this node using tail pointer. And then we will update our tail pointer by the address which is contained inside temp that is 3000. Now, in this case, you can see that tail pointer is pointing to the second last node of this list. Definitely in this case, some pointer is required in order to reach the second last node of this list. Therefore, the operation that is deletion of the last node of the linked list takes order of n time. That is why option D is the correct option.